Dr. Kem S. Tree, but you can call me Dr. Kem. Today, I'm going to discuss the differences between sanitization, disinfection, and sterilization in inhibiting microbes or microorganisms. For today's demonstrator, we will have a talking dog. Talking dog's not available? Yes, he's on the ticket show right now. I'm sorry, but the talking dog is not available today to help us in our demonstration. So instead, today we will have Camilla be our demonstrator for today. Camilla doesn't seem like she's busy right now. What? Where? My? Hello? So we're just gonna have her as our demonstrator. I'm gonna be your what? Today, let's start with sanitization. Sanitization is the reduction of microbial populations to levels considered safe by public health standards, such as those applied to restaurants. Why am I at the kitchen? Now Camilla will demonstrate sanitization. This can be as simple as washing dishes. You want me to wash the dishes? Like literally there's one dish. Okay. Can I go now? <laughs> You're not done yet, Camilla. You still have two more methods to demonstrate. What? What are you talking about? The next way of inhibiting microbes involves disinfection. What? <laughs> disinfection describes the elimination of most or all pathogens except bacterial spores from non-living objects. Chemicals used to disinfect inanimate objects such as bedside equipment and operating rooms are called disinfectants. Because they are strong chemical substances, disinfectants cannot be used on living tissue. Well, Camilla, good news for you because we have Lysol. Lysol is a disinfecting spray that eliminates odors and it has an early morning breeze scent. It kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. Wow! Professional Lysol you can use on different surfaces. So, Camilla, you're gonna be using this Lysol. Don't do that ever again. Lysol, okay. Lysol. right here not throwing it at anyone Is that it perfect and now we are at our last term for this episode sterilization Wait, what? Okay, last last one last one sterilization involves the destruction or elimination of all microbes including cells spores and viruses heat is the most practical efficient and inexpensive method of sterilization of those inanimate objects and materials that can withstand high temperatures. Moist heat methods of sterilization include boiling, steaming, and using an autoclave, but since Camilla does not have an autoclave machine, we are going to demonstrate a moist heat method of sterilization, which is boiling. Oh my gosh, this is the last step, boiling, right? Boiling, stop giving me such weird objects. Okay, okay, now we're just gonna wait. Okay, so what you 
want me to do? Let's, let's just get this over with. What, what do you want me to do? You, you want me to sterilize this? I mean, we could just wash it like in sanitization. Okay, inanimate object. Boiling hot water. And I'm gonna drop a spoon in it. Okay, goodbye microbes, I guess. I guess we'll get that out with chopsticks later. This is sterilized. But <sighs> there you go. One sterilized spoon. Wow, what an amazing demonstration by Camilla. Let's give her a round of applause. She may go back to her usual life now. This has been Dr. Kem S. Tree or Dr. Kem on the differences between sanitization, disinfection, and sterilization. I hope you learned something from today's episode. Goodbye. the products you've seen today were sponsored. <laughs> I was a sponsor. <laughs> Please like and subscribe for more content. I'm gonna... Oof, sorry. This is a health hazard. That's why you're supposed to tie long hair. Okay. Always tie back long hair. I'm just doing this for the video. <laughs> Okay, let's just get this over with because I cannot see. Be sure to click <laughs> a special shout out to Burton's microbiology book. I don't know. Thank you for watching today's episode. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>